Big things potentially might happen with the XRP price. We're going to be talking some big XRP news in this crypto video, some big XRP price updates. And I also want to give you guys some critical updates about Binance CZ. What is he secretly thinking in the crypto space? And also the 2024 US election, who potentially could be the best president for the US election. We're going to be talking about that in this video. So if you guys enjoy the updates, hit the thumbs up button. So recently on the XRP front, we have seen some explosive price movements in XRP. There has been a slight retracement in the price. Am I worried about that retracement? Absolutely not. We do have some big updates to talk about for Ripple. Let's listen into what Brad Garlinghouse has to say about the current situation of XRP and Ripple, the company. The SEC clearly lost as a matter of law, and this, the judge wrote, XRP is not a security as a kind of intrinsic thing. In certain circumstances, which is kind of a narrow definition around institutional sales, it could be a security. This is a win for Ripple. It's also a win for the entire crypto industry. And I think that's why you saw the crypto industry react so positively over the last 24 hours. And I have to agree with Brad right there. So it is a win for the entire cryptocurrency industry. It's a win for XRP holders. And I think the thing about XRP is, you know, even though the price is sitting at 71 cents right now, you do have to have a long-term perspective about this cryptocurrency. Because what I've done right now is I have zoomed out on the price of XRP. So so we nearly got to one dollar right here recently so it got up to around what is that price level it says right there around 94 cents as a recent high but if you actually look at xrp from a historical point of view have a look at some of these big price ranges so three dollars twenty uh, approximately at this all-time high we also have another boost up right here so what is this price level around two dollars right here and what was happening in the crypto market during those times so if you guys who are around let me know in the comment section below was anyone trading crypto back in 2018 2017 so we had actually a very bullish run back there so that was bull run number one this is bull run number two but the thing to understand about xrp is what now we have been kind of freed from the shackles of the sec xrp can now focus on doing what it was set out to do so you guys know you know we're sitting around 71 cents currently i've seen some really big price targets for xrp i'm talking about northwards of five dollars ten dollars and higher what actually needs to happen in my belief is that we actually do need to see xrp get that global financial adoption okay so global financial adoption it is a utility cryptocurrency so you guys know xrp ledger xrp the crypto there's a big potential for this crypto to revolutionize the way the financial world can operate and if xrp does get that adoption that in my opinion is can, that can be you know the cataclysm to really push up the xrp price so that is kind of what i'm looking out for in the long term for xrp as a bit of a long term hold of course if you want to though there is volatility within these bands where you can actually trade long and short in the market so if you're looking to make money quickly in the crypto market you can do that through future trading and if you guys do want to get some bonuses doing some futures trading you can actually sign up to you know qcoin right here gets up to three thousand two hundred dollars worth of bonus and that uh, as well some nice bonuses right there if you want to participate in the futures trading so there's two different types of strategies you can go in for for xrp you know long-term hold to see if we get that revolutionary potential in the future or it could be you know trading the volatility in the crypto market so always remembering crypto up and down doesn't really matter if you do set your trades in the right direction you can make money a along the journey as we go. CZ of Binance says right here, keep building, this is your plan. So it's a straight line to the finish line, but in reality, this is what can happen. So is this a metaphor for what is happening with the Binance crypto exchange, going through the fire, going through the barbed wire, the massive spiders, the shark infested water, and a potentially a rock fall as well to get to the finish line. Potentially that's what's on CZ's mind. And CZ of Binance says right here, the conversation is one way way only and potentially is he firing shots at the BlackRock CEO Larry Fink let's listen into what Larry Fink says right here over the last five years <clears throat> more and more our global investors are asking us about the role of crypto 
And as I said, I do believe a lot of crypto is is going to be. It's an international asset. It's going. It is. Um, it has a differentiating value versus other asset classes, but more importantly, because it's so international, it's going to transcend any one currency in currency valuation. If you just look at the value of of our dollar, how it de depreciated last two two months, and how much it appreciated over the last five years, I mean, a international crypto product can really transcend that. And that's why we believe there's great opportunities, and that's why we're seeing more and more interest. And that interest is broad-based worldwide. Over the last five years... <clears throat> So guys, that is some very, very bullish sentiment coming out of Larry Fink. CZ is firing shots towards him saying the conversation is one way only. So can Larry Fink be trusted in the crypto market? I don't know. So this guy right here, he's probably one of the most powerful financial institutional players in the entire world with the owner, the manager of BlackRock, uh, CEO right there, the chairman. And uh, you know, it is a little bit coincidental that Larry Fink is getting very bullish at the same time a lot of these big wall street money a lot of this big wall street money is getting excited about crypto and we do know that big wall street exchange is potentially coming onto the market as well so cz is in the firing line potentially blackrock a lot of this uh, big wall street money with their bitcoin etfs is coming online soon and this is one of the big catalysts i do think people should pay attention to so once we do get these bitcoin etfs online that is going to be something very very bullish and again if you take a look at that xrp ripple price you you know, underlying, you know, these surges in prices right here and here, what you're going to be having is macro boosters in the overall crypto market. So this is when Bitcoin price is going crazy in both of these scenarios. So you have to be wanting a strong Bitcoin price in the crypto space. If you're holding XRP, if you're holding any type of altcoin, Bitcoin generally pulls up the rest of the crypto market as well. But interesting dynamics happening right there between CZ and the BlackRock CEO. And guys, let's talk about this question. 2024 US presidential election. We have this article, Ron DeSantis vows to ban CBDCs in the US if elected president. And he says right here, I am the president on day one, we will nix central bank digital currency done dead not happening in this country. So why is there concern over some of this stuff? So, so basically, there are privacy concerns about this and uh, also giving the government too much power. So remember, you know, if, you, if these things do become a reality in the US or any other country out there, you are giving uh, the government pretty much godlike powers over money so they can turn off money they can drain your wallet they can freeze your money they can analyze exactly what you're spending your money on and really at the end of the day is government supposed to be a, you know a big controller of society or is it supposed to work for society that is a big question so Ron DeSantis is running in 2024 I know I think Trump is also going to be running and there's also going to be Kennedy Jr. from the Democrats and it's going to be very very interesting to see which one is the best for crypto so remember if we want a big bitcoin price we want these altcoins to really surge we do want a good u.s president 2024 honestly i don't think joe biden's done a very good job at all especially you know with the work of the sec personally that's my opinion but you guys are always free to vote for whoever you want but i would love to see a change in the policy of the u.s government and the sec and that would be very very bullish for the bitcoin price and also the cryptocurrency prices so guys comment down below who is your favorite crypto president ron DeSantis, kennedy jr trump or even biden comment down below interested to hear your thoughts and if we do check out the crypto market guys a little bit stationary today relatively speaking so not too much movement in the last 24 hours but again you have to be have you have to be thinking long term in the crypto markets you guys can see xrp up slightly in the last 24 hours but again long term is what excites me about xrp you know xrp going to a dollar guys that's not really that exciting in my opinion i'm looking for the big plays for xrp XRP personally and uh, SHIB up 2% on the market, Pepe up 2% and uh, Terra Classic having a nice day on the market up 7.3% but guys that is a big update that's exactly what you need to know in the crypto market today if you guys enjoyed it hit the thumbs up button appreciate you guys tuning in go have a good one I'll see you guys in the next one Crypto Zeus signing out.